What do you think of when you uh, see a homeless guy on the street? Do you think that that guy might be uh, crazy, completely psychotic, druggy, a uh, loser, a uh, homeless person? Well, that's what I think of. He's a homeless person. Now, of course, you might be thinking, well, the reason why this guy is a homeless person is because, you know, it was by his own doing. I mean, he chose to be a druggie, or he chose to be psychotic, or he chose to not work than his life. Just, fuck it, I'm not working. But, that shows an entire problem with our society as a whole. We see, uh homeless person down the street and you know what I think I see a failure of her system now you might be thinking well that that's obviously not my fault that that random guy just happens to be homeless of course not of course not of course it is not your fault at all it, none of that is your fault well, I'd like to propose the idea that it is your fault. Not completely your fault, not not your fault 100%, not even not your fault 1% or 2% or 0.35%. Uh it's everybody's fault. It's yours, it's mine, it's the guy down the street, it's your mom, it's your dad, it's you know, whomever you might be thinking of. It's completely our fault that that guy on the street is homeless. You might be thinking, well, you know, mm, how? How the, how the fuck is that my fault? How the fuck is that your fault? How is that my parents' fault? How is that anybody else's fault besides his fault? Well, hmm, so let's see. The entire healthcare industry, the entire industry that gives people houses to live in, the entire industry that gives people food, the entire industry that gives people electricity for their home, housing, uh, their houses and their shelters and whatnot, is all capitalist. Now I might say, that, yeah, yeah, it's capitalist. It's all capitalist. You know, why why do I consider myself as a socialist? Well, here's why. Maybe the thing is, is that I think that making money is absolutely fine, as long as you're not making it off of people's lives. I mean, you get the people's livelihoods there that are focused upon certain things that we fucking need. Like health care, like shelter, like food, like clothing, like fucking electricity. Without these things, you wouldn't be able to fucking live. Without these things, you, you're not working. You're not working. If you're not working, you don't get the things. If you don't have a house, you're not going to get food stamps. If you don't have a house, you're not going to get LIHEAP, which they call it over here in Pennsylvania, which is the low-income housing um, assistance program. Uh, now, why, oh, why is this so wrong? Why, why is it so wrong that we actually have to work in order to get this stuff? I mean, obviously, uh, obviously that's just the way the world works. There are no free lunches, aren't there? Well, actually, yeah, you're right. There are no free lunches. Now, free lunches, that's another thing. What is, well, what does that term mean? What does that term, there are no free lunches, mean? What exactly does that mean at all? Well, basically what it means, at least what I think it means, is I'm too goddamn fucking selfish to give you my tax money that I work for to give you a little bit food, to give you a little housing or shelter or basic needs. Or the big one, health care. <laughs> now, why? why? Why do we? Why do we exactly think this way? Is it because we're all greedy douchebags? Is it all because we're all selfish and we want to keep as much money as possible? 
and basically hoard all the money that we can and use it on whatever the hell we want? Mm, well, some people are like that, obviously. Like people that are sociopathic. Like people that are businessmen. Like people that are... The, the only thing they care about is getting as much capital as possible. Now, of course, not all business people are like that, but a lot of people within that mindset that go into business have this sort of mindset where all they care about is making as much money and, as fucking possible because that's what capitalism is about. That's what the entire American dream is all about in the first place, is making money. But then you have people that are in the middle class. Now, you might be thinking, well, you know, the middle class is not, obviously not something to blame for the poor people. Obviously not. And it is. Uh, I'm sorry to say that it is. I mean, I'm in a bracket. I'm in the lower middle income family bracket, I guess. I guess from the income that I get, the, um the chance that I actually get to live within an apartment, I guess I would be in the lower middle income, or maybe middle income, I don't know. I'm not really quite sure about, about that, but right now, middle income, or lower middle income, and then I know people, personally, that are in higher middle income, or lower in middle income. Most of them are not just in middle income families. And, of course, they have that one idea about, well, yeah, the healthcare industry should possibly be, uh, possibly be uh, socialized. But it already is. It's already socialized. We have Obamacare. And also we have food stamps to give out to people that really need the food. As long as you have a house, you, you, you get your food. It's fine. And as as well as getting a house, well, you know, I worked fucking two, three, four years in order to get this house. This nice little ranch house on the countryside or, you know, I got a ranch house or a one-bedroom a one apartment over in the nice part of the suburbs or something like that. Or maybe they're lucky enough to get a two- or three-bedroom house. But, you know, I worked for it. I had to get that through working. But the thing is, is that why should you even have to fucking work to get a house? No, of course. You're going to think, well, uh, of course I have to work to get a house. That That's obvious. I should... I, I should work to get a house. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't work to get a fucking house. Now, I understand. Okay. Housing. As it comes to getting a huge mansion filled with all the anemones that you need and getting all this shit in there, packing it up with pretty looking pictures and everything else like that, obviously... Obviously, yeah, then I guess that would be a capitalist incentive. But when you're coming down to it and you're seeing all the people on the streets, uh, what do you usually think? You usually think, oh, well, you know, they can always get, um, they can always get, uh, you know, Social Security and, uh, and health care through Obamacare and they can get, uh, you know, they can get their basic needs through welfare, and they'll be fine. They, they, they have their food stamps, blah, blah, blah. No, they don't. Here's why. They don't have a fucking house. First of all, if you want to get a job here in the United States, what do you need? You need a place of residence, and that's exactly what it is. You need a fucking place of residence. Why? Well, unless if you're getting paid under the table, you need to pay taxes. And what do you need to do with that taxes? You need to tell the government where exactly you are. Now, seems like somewhat of a dumbass thing to do if we're trying to use this taxes 
to help the poor people, yet the poor people are not there to help because they're not going to get any benefits from welfare because they don't have a fucking house so they can't pay taxes. Derp. All right, yeah, you have the rich basically swimming in money, and you have the 1% swimming in what? Two hundred billion dollars or two hundred trillion dollars for all I know it could be more yeah sure maybe they just put a little bit of money over to the United States let's say 1.5 to 3 billion dollars and the rest they put down in some other banks that they found in Switzerland and uh, other countries you know why because they don't need to be taxed that much over there of course, it's their own money, so they're allowed to do whatever the fuck they want with that, as well as the business. Cause this huge conglomeration of all these businesses that we have in the United States, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, uh, you know, Young Corporation that has Taco Bell and shit, you know what? That is all owned by bigger businesses. Now, you might be thinking, well, how is that possible? You know, Coca-Cola is a pretty huge business. I mean, it owns the entirety of the Coca-Cola products. It owns Coke, it owns, you know, Fanta, it owns Dr. Pepper. But, who owns Coke? Well, obviously, nobody owns Coke. Obviously, that's just an old, you know, that's a, uh, that's a corporation of its own. Nobody owns Coke. No, 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 no. Nobody owns Coke. That is a fucking lie. And you know it. Coke is a subsidiary of a subsidiary of a subsidiary of a subsidiary. This is not true capitalism for the libertarians that are watching my video. Now, what is true capitalism? Well, true capitalism is a fairy tale mythology just like communism. And I'm sorry to say that because some of these people that are watching my videos might actually be communists. And I'd like to say that communism and capitalism are two sides of the same coin. Communism basically forces everybody to work for no fucking incentive in order to get their basic needs. Which is fantastic, but that's statism. And that's, that's damn near fascism. And the other way, capitalism. Capitalism is great. Yeah, everybody has their own personal liberties. Except for the fact that you basically have just one incentive and one incentive at mind at all times. And that is to make fucking money. No matter what it means. No matter if it means that, you know, I'm going to put people's lives in dangers by basically making money from foreign contracting to uh, the United States military and Department of Defense as well as other people that work for other Department of Defense and basically kill each other for profit because you have fucking fossil fuels and nuclear energy all over the fucking place that you can mine in different parts of the world and that's the only way that you're making that money because you go to war for oil for dollar bills y'all for your business for blah and for blah and guess what at the same time what are we making money off of in in the u.s capitalist society we're making money off of taking care of people yeah people's lives are an asset people's lives are no longer viewed as lives but they're viewed as another dollar bill Guess what? You, me, that homeless man, all a giant dollar bill. And once that person becomes homeless, hey, guess what? He's no longer a giant dollar bill. He is, whoop, squat, zip, zero, zilch. He is worth nothing to the economy, so everybody looks down on him. They don't give him his fucking supplies. They don't give him food stamps. They don't give him jack shit.
Then we have the rich people. Oh, of course, the rich people. The rich people. Everybody's talking about how how fucking awesome the rich people are. How much they either want to be like them or how much they're stealing from our economy. Now, there's two ways that you can look at that. Obviously, one, I want to be just like that rich person. Whoa. Well, if you do, you ain't going fucking nowhere. You know why? Because those rich people are owned by other rich people who are owned by other rich people. So basically, you're not going to get anywhere until you start licking some ass. You want to go in there? Dig your, dig your head as far up the assholes of every single one of these sociopathic morons that basically rule our economy in order to get it up to the top. So, another thing. We have Obamacare. Now, it, Obamacare is obviously a very, very nice system for the middle class. For the fucking middle class. Why is it a nice system for the middle class? Well, the middle class, they have their home. They got their home. They bought it. Blah, blah, blah. That's all. Number two. People in the middle class usually have a full-time job. A full-time job. You have a full-time job, you have class, you have kids, blah, blah, blah. That's great. But it's the American dream. It's the American fucking dream. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. You're, 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 you're working a full-time job in order to get health care from Obamacare. Let me see there. Doesn't it just seem like a little fucking stupid that you have to work in order to live, in order to get your kids' lives, in order to get your kids' health insurance, in order to get your wife under your health insurance, in order to get your kids' dental care, in order to help that one person that might be in your family that has chemotherapy? Yeah, well, that's great. That's great. Uh, of course, I'm going to work... I'm going to work and be a fucking puppet of these masters up at the top. And the only way not to be a fucking puppet is to even be more of a fucking puppet until you dig your head all the way up to the assholes of every single asshole until you get your way to that top. And that's exactly where you're going to be. So, you have that. You have another shit steak that is being served to you. The lie that middle class is fine. Middle class is where you want to be. Because, you know, what they always say about the middle class is that the middle class is the backbone of our economy. Well, that's not a lie. The middle class or the backbone of the economy. You know why? Because you're puppets. You're fucking puppets. You know it? You know you're fucking puppets when you're working for the man not only to get some shit you don't need, which I'm alright with, but you also have to work for the man and become their fucking puppet to get health care, food, shelter, clothing, basic needs, electricity, all that shit that you should get anyway. You're fine. You're just... You're fine. You're getting every basic need that you need, and as long as if you keep that full-time job, you're going to be alright. Yeah. Does that really seem like it's fair at all? Does it seem like it's fucking fair that you have to fucking work your ass off? Be a fucking puppet in order to get your basic needs. In order to get your fucking basic needs. You understand that's what you're doing. You're a serf. You're a fucking serf. You're a slave. And those people at the top are your fucking slave masters. You, you, you look down on the poor. You look down on the fucking... Uh, you look down on the fucking homeless people because, because they're, they're, uh, they haven't gotten anywhere. Because they can't afford a house because they couldn't find a full-time job in order to get 
food stamps and all that shit in order to get to the lower middle class? Are you fucking nuts? Of course you're looking down at them, because you know you can be there any fucking time. You look down at them and you don't see, you don't see a fucking homeless man, you don't see, you don't see a druggie, you don't see someone that might be schizophrenic, you don't see someone that is bipolar, you don't see anybody but yourself. You look right in the fucking mirror and you know what you see? You see that homeless person. You see that goddamn homeless person because you know if you lose your goddamn job, you're not going to get anywhere and you're going to end up like he is or she is on the fucking streets. When you're walking by these homeless people next time, just understand and realize that you might be next. You probably are going to be next if you lose your fucking job. Because guess what? Even if you, even if you have worked, what? Five, ten, fifteen years over a giant company, over a giant disposable company, you you could be disposed any fucking second of the day. You understand that? You realize that? Yeah, sure, sure. You're a IT guy. You're a you're a businessman. You're an engineer. Blah blah blah. You know what? Guess what? You're just another fucking dollar sign because those people over at the top they don't give a fuck about you. They just care about making money. Once they see it right, once they see it true, that they have to do, all they have to do is fucking dispose of you, they're going to dispose of you. And you're going to be just like that guy on the street that you saw the other day. He wanted a fucking cup of coffee, you laugh at him? You laugh at him because he wants a fucking cup of coffee? You know what I see? You know what I see? You are being fucking played. You are being played. In the middle class is being played. The rich are being played too. Guess what? If there's any really super rich people, super fucking rich people that are watching my goddamn video, I have this to tell you. Your greed is going to come become the downfall of not only middle class, not only the poor people that you see as nothing because they're fucking invisible because you disposed them. You took them up, wrapped them up like a fucking like a fucking paper ball and threw them in the rubbish bin. You know what? That's exactly going to be you because you're going to create the downfall of your entire economy if you don't start thinking differently. Now, I know you're you're probably sociopathic by now. You're probably a fucking sociopath if you're all the way up at the top. But do realize this. Do realize this. Sure, you might never become that guy that you just threw away. You may never become a surf. Only if you start, you know, not licking ass anymore. You might, you might always, always, always remain at the fucking top. But come next year, five years from now, ten years from now, two things might fucking happen to you. Number one, our entire economy might fucking collapse. Your dollar, your billions of billions of fucking dollars that you have won't be worth shit. They won't be worth shit here, they won't be worth shit in Switzerland, they won't be worth shit in France. They're not going to be worth anything. Because our banking system is set up so the only, only, only fucking thing our U.S. dollar is worth is worth nothing. It's the value that you put behind it. It's, that's it. Once everybody funnels the money up to you, guess what? You're sitting on a pile of useless pieces of green paper. That's it. That is not going to have any value anymore. People are going to be working for you until you funnel all that money up. And guess what? I'm not going to call you a fat cat. I'm just going to call you a dumbass. A dumbass sociopathic moron. Because that's what you are. You're a dumbass. You have all this money? What are you going to do with it? Absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, oh, uh, what are you going to do? Um... Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna build a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a boat. Okay, you build a boat. How much is that worth? A couple hundred thousand dollars. Okay, what? Well, what else are you gonna do? You gonna buy the entire football team? 
Oh, God. oh, oh, are you gonna buy the entire NFL and make it your, your fucking fantasy league? Are you going to buy every single computer network there is in the United States? Or are you going to just buy out the entire country? Or maybe the entire world? Because guess what? You're not gonna be able to do that. Not because, not because you don't have enough money. No, of course you have enough money. Of course you have enough money. You're sitting on a huge, giant pile of money that we, as the middle class, as the poor people, and as the upper middle class, and as the lower rich people, have given you. Because that money is not going to be worth shit, because nobody else has that money to spread around anymore. Oh, you want to buy a boat? Okay, what do you have? Dollar bill? Fuck that, you have all the dollar bills. Why am I going to give you anything? I'm going to make you fucking poor by basically dropping the floor from under you and devaluing the dollar completely. Good on you.